Some are worried about a possible fourth wave of coronavirus hitting Washington. Younger people are driving up COVID-19 infections and hospital visits across the state, making it even more important for vaccinations to ramp up. Thanks for joining us. I'm Nia Wong. And I'm Aaron Luna. The good news, that's about to happen in Washington. Starting tomorrow, everyone 16 and older can get a shot. Mayor Kawash is live at the Spokane Arena tonight, where plenty of appointments are still available this week. Yeah, Aaron, that's been the case here over the last several days and last several weeks, and that's why providers and clinics want you to take advantage of these appointments, and that's also why they're ready for eligibility to open up tomorrow. Now, the hope is that people take advantage of it so the race can stop between vaccinations and infections here in Washington. On the eve of Washington allowing all adults to get the COVID-19 vaccine, health experts also have their eyes on a potential fourth wave of infections. It's not just about vaccine, it's about the things the behaviors people can do. Spokane County has reported more than 100 cases on five of the last seven days. Washington's cases are up almost 30 percent. And as we've often seen during this pandemic, younger people are driving this surge. Lots of people in this younger age group are at all the places where the outbreaks are, bars, restaurants, and travel. 76 percent of Spokane County's cases in the last week are from people younger than 50, and 20-year-olds are the most concerning, accounting for 31 percent of those cases. So we need to take it seriously. Some of our trends, like transmission, look very similar to where we were at the start of November as the third wave began. Uh, most people in our state are still vulnerable to this horrific disease. That's why the Spokane Regional Health District is focusing on messaging towards those younger people and soon creating vaccine clinics at local universities. We are continuing to, as you know, race against the clock when it comes to vaccines. The State Department of Health is hoping younger people will take advantage of being eligible for the vaccine tomorrow. If you're about to get that shot, these are the symptoms to look out for. You might have some arm soreness, a little fatigue, or a headache. If you catch a fever, then you should check in with your provider just to make sure nothing else is wrong. And any side effects should only last about 24 to 36 hours. If you have a history of allergies, Call your doctor before getting vaccinated. Now, there are a lot of vaccine appointments available all across Spokane County, especially here at the Spokane Arena this week. You could also call any provider across the region, and they will be able to take you in for a vaccine appointment, even if you're not a patient of theirs. And we also have all of this information in one place for you. Just head to kxy.com vaccine. Live in Spokane tonight, I'm Eric Kawash, 4 News Now.